the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon video. In this video, we will be looking ahead at next week's episode. The name of episode 4 is The King of the Narrow Sea, a name also given to Daemon Targaryen after his victory over the Crab Feeder and his men. As you can see, Daemon has now arrived back in King's Landing with a crown of his own on his head. If you've read Fire and Blood, then you know it was Lord Corlys Valerion who actually set the crown on Daemon's head. One thing you should immediately notice is how much shorter Damon's hair is in the scene. It will be another way of showing how much time has gone by since the last episode. It was Aegon's second name day in the last episode, but in this episode we hear them say he's now three years old. In this shot, we see Damon walking into the Great Hall of the Red Keep in King's Landing. He has a little bit of swagger in his step as he rolls right up to the Iron Throne. Viserys looks visibly upset at Damon's arrival. Not only because he now has a crown on his head, but also because he has named himself a king, among many other things. This will most likely be seen as another sign of disrespect from his brother. As if Daemon and Viserys haven't had enough issues with one another already. Like we have heard Daemon say before, he loves getting a reaction out of his brother, and he will certainly get one from him here. Now, if you've seen all the other trailers, then you know Daemon isn't welcomed with open arms. We have seen the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, Sir Harold Westerling, shoving his sword into Daemon's armor, stopping him from moving forward any further. With all of these eyes on Viserys, watching him as this goes down, he will have to discipline Daemon in some way. Now, if they do follow George R. R. Martin's novel, Fire and Blood, in this scene, we should see Daemon remove the crown from his head and offer it to Viserys. That might win over some of the lords and ladies in the room, but will it be enough to win over his king? We shall see. Now, this new trailer actually opens up with a scene of Rhaenyra holding the Valyrian steel dagger over an open flame. As the blade gets red hot, it reveals a hidden message on the Valyrian steel. From my blood come the prince that was promised, and his will be the song of ice and fire. Once again, Rhaenyra learns about the significance of her bloodline. It's a reminder that someone from House Targaryen will be needed in the future to stop the deadly threat that lies north beyond the wall. If you remember in Game of Thrones, this was the same thing that Melisandre was obsessed with. The Lord of Light was giving her a very similar message. The prince who was promised will bring the dawn. This is also the same thing that drove Rhaegar Targaryen. Many believe this is what led him to Lyanna Stark. And since House Stark is seen as ice since they're from the north, and House Targaryen is seen as fire, many would say that Jon Snow was the Song of Ice and Fire. Either way, they all knew someone down the line would have to unite all of Westeros in order to defeat the White Walkers. Viserys might use this as a way of making Rhaenyra understand that she needs to not only get married, but start having sons of her own. We've heard her say she doesn't want to get married, and she's even hinted at the fact that she doesn't want to have her own kids, but maybe now she will see that this is much bigger than her. In some of these other scenes, we will eventually see Rhaenyra go out and look for a suitable match. In the last episode, Viserys said she could go and find someone herself, and that's exactly what we see her do in the new episode. In one shot, we see her sailing on a ship, heading for an unknown destination. I think this might be when she's sailing for Storm's End. We see her here, sitting in the high seat of House Baratheon. On one side is Sir Kristen Cole, a member of her father's Kingsguard, as well as her own guard. And on the other side is Borman Baratheon, the Lord of Storm's End, and the head of House Baratheon. Since Rhaenyra's looking for a husband, she's seeing what Storm's End has to offer. It doesn't look like Rhaenyra will find a match soon enough, because Viserys gets very angry with her once again. In a different scene, we hear him say, Your courtship is at an end. He must be getting frustrated with how long she's taking, which will most likely lead to him finding her a match himself. What will eventually make this even worse is once the disgusting rumors start circulating around King's Landing about Rhaenyra's extracurricular activities. We find out about this when Sir Otto Hightower delivers the discomforting news. Shortly after, Rhaenyra finds out someone is making vile accusations about her, and most likely her uncle, Daemon Targaryen. I have discomforting news. This is a vile accusation. Who is responsible for this gossip? I will take their eyes. In some of the other scenes, we do see Rhaenyra and Daemon sneaking around the city of King's Landing at night. 
I'm thinking this might be when Damon starts taking Rhaenyra around to the different brothels within the city. In Fire and Blood, it's said that Damon starts introducing her to the art of seduction by letting her watch others have sex. He might even let Rhaenyra watch him a Masario. In another scene, we see someone's hands on the wall as they're most likely having sex. That ring on the man's finger is the same one we see Damon wearing earlier in the episode. Now, it's really hard to say who this might be with Damon because he's known for sleeping around with so many different ladies. It might be Masaria, some other whore, or even Rhaenyra herself. Either way, someone must find out about this or see them inside one of the brothels and get word back to the Hand of the King. Sir Otto Hightower must love this because he can use the accusations to help Aegon get on the Iron Throne. We see how he has his eyes set on the Iron Throne in the new video. He already made it known to his daughter Alicent, Aegon will be the king, one way or another. The road ahead is uncertain, but the end is clear. Aegon will be king. If you ask me, Sir Otto will stop at nothing to make sure that happens. Now that Viserys and Rhaenyra are always at odds with one another, I do wonder if they will have him name Aegon as his heir. We already heard what he said to Alicent in the last episode. He wonders if naming Rhaenyra as his heir was a mistake. What will make things even messier is the introduction of Viserys and Alicent's other children. We see Alicent finally had their second child, a daughter named Helena Targaryen. As of right now, Alicent is still standing by her friend, or I should say former friend in Rhaenyra. Not only was she still on her side in the last episode, but it seems she still has her back in the next episode as well. We hear Alicent say, It is not in Rhaenyra's nature to be deceitful, but I cannot say the same about your brother. This is suggesting that Daemon is up to more of his shenanigans. I think he will end up forcing Viserys to have him exiled from King's Landing once again. As much as he does love his brother, he only ends up creating more issues for Viserys whenever he's around. Daemon is shown flying on Caraxes again when he swoops down over Rhaenyra's ship. This might be when he leaves King's Landing in search of a match for himself. We will eventually see Daemon get married very soon, but I won't say to who just yet. After watching the new trailer, one thing is for sure. Everything is disintegrating around Viserys Targaryen. He was already an absolute mess in that last episode, and now it seems he's only getting weaker by the day. His days are almost numbered, and like I've said before, the downfall of House Targaryen has begun. After watching everything unfold, it seems like the next episode might be the best one of the season so far. It's really starting to feel like those glory days of Game of Thrones. I think the series was at its best when every character's life has flipped upside down. I don't know about all of you, but I really look forward to the next episode. I think the show will only get better from here on out. Let me know what all of you think down below. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.